Yes, it is. No, it's not. Cheerleading is not a sport. <coughs> Why not? Because you don't compete like we do for football. Just because our school doesn't compete doesn't mean there isn't competitive cheerleading out there. It's still not a sport. Whatever. These arguments were practically famous in my high school, especially in my class. We had the football jocks and the few cheerleaders. We would take entire class, an entire class time to argue whether cheerleading was a, was a sport or not. And our class periods were 80 minutes. I believe cheerleading is a sport for three main reasons. One, because cheerleading is tough and competitive. Two, because cheerleading is a contact sport. And three, because cheerleading can be altered to fit the standards of Title IX. First, cheerleading is tough and competitive. Aaron Janelle, a student from New Jersey, gave up wrestling and took on cheerleading. He stated to Time Magazine, an American news magazine, that throwing girls in the air, having to know dance moves, is great, but it's serious. I've played football too. Cheerleading is, cheerleading is harder. Likewise, a girl named or Erica Ward, who was interviewed by Newsweek, a, a, network, a network for national and worldwide news, found that cheerleading was no joke. Not only is che competitive cheerleading tough, but the injury rate is also very high. With a high likeliness for injury, a high likeliness for injury doesn't stop these physically tough, intensely competitive, and several notches short of peppy girls. But not only are girls finding that cheerlead competitive cheerleading is tough, but so are guys, like Janelle, who make the switch from football, or wrestling in his case, to cheerleading. My second point is that cheerleading is a contact sport. I know, I know it sounds weird because it's just lifting people up, throwing them in the air and whatnot. But mom's team, a trusted source for sports parents, and Donald Collins, a Wisconsin attorney, state that cheerleading is a contact sport. Their proof, a Wisconsin court case, Nofke no versus Bake, where the judge ruled that the case was null and void and not legit because of the contact sport exception. Contact sport exception says that if an injury is not intentional or the result of reckless behavior, that injury is a part of the sport. An unfortunate part, but still a part of the sport. This decision by the Wisconsin judge may very well and may have already led to a, court, a federal court case to determine whether cheerleading is a sport or not. With that court case, cheerleaders are going to be able to make a stronger case for themselves due to the fact that cheerleading has become more competitive, more tough, and more intense. Now this leads to my third point. The fact that you can alter cheerleading just enough to make it fit Title IX standards. The American Prospect, a magazine that covers politics, culture, and policies, released a cheerleading story that was both interesting and enlightening. Acro, or acrobatics and tumbling, and stunt. Change the uniforms from your short skirts to a numbered uniform and alter the routine to resemble that of a gymnastics floor routine, and you have yourself the sport of acro. Stunt would include partner stunts, such as pyramids, basket tosses, jumps, and even tumbling skills. Now how much of that really sounds different than what we know of as cheerleading today? From where I stand, and from what I've read, and what I know, it's not much different. Practically the same. With stunt and acro, cheerleaders will go from being supporters of sports to participants in exclusive competition. U.S. District Judge Stephen Underhill also had something to say regarding Title IX. He stated, competitive cheer may, sometime in the future, qualify as a sport under Title IX. Today, however, the activity is still underdeveloped and disorganized to be treated, or too disorganized, to be treated as offering genuine varsity athletic participation opportunities for students. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. This is saying that cheerleading is not a sport. But it is also saying that it may very well become a sport in the future. Cheerleaders are always going to stick up for their sport and say that it is a sport, and they're going to continuously try to convince people, especially the football jocks, that cheerleading is a sport. And I believe that cheerleading is a sport for three main reasons. One, because cheerleading is tough and competitive. Two, because cheerleading is a contact sport. And three, because cheerleading can be altered to fit Title IX standards.